Sun-baked earth, Uttar Pradesh, northern India. Here, the limits of one monsoon allow the farmers a single annual crop. The only option for the rest of the year was going to the city in search of work or finding a way to pay for expensive, polluting diesel pumps for irrigation. Until now. Amitabha Sadangi of International Development Enterprises, IDE India, a non-profit body, is on his way to the village of Sabihaya, 30 kilometers outside Lucknow. If one crop failed, these people commit suicide because they got so much, they take loan from the money, local money lenders, they come under pressure. And there are a lot of suicide by farmers is a major headlines in the newspaper every day in India. Water here lies less than six meters below the surface. The diesel pumps used by some farmers to extract it cost about $70 a year to hire, pollute the air, and in some places they've caused a water shortage by extracting more water than nature can replace. Thanks to Amitabha's invention, even the poorest farmers can now reach the water by walking. The flow rate of water from these pumps is more suited to light irrigation, while diesel pumps often wash the topsoil away. I saw people uh, irrigating through the hand pump, and because it's very difficult to operate in hand, they were using uh, the leg muscles to operate a hand pump, and that is the idea I got. The idea became the treadle pump, driven by human muscle power. Crucially, the technology has been kept simple and cheap to maintain. This has a twin cylinder mm -hmm. uh, pump, which works with, this is what we're calling the plastic bucket. This needs to be replaced once in a year, and this costs them around 20 cents US, 20 cents US. Once in a year, they have to replace this part. Apart from this, there's no other maintenance. Mohammed Shabir bought a pump six years ago and now grows three crops a year instead of one. And with the proceeds, he's now building a new house. I've got good crops. My life's much better compared to before the treadle pump. I'm very happy now. Pawan Singh is travelling to the village of Mirzapur, close to the Nepalese border, where the water table is high enough for treadle pumps to access. If it's lower than eight metres, then the treadle pump won't work. This limits the potential of the pumps to areas with a relatively high water table. The first step is to dig a borehole, then a plastic tube with holes cut out of it is inserted to keep the well open. These are the holes which we have made. And this acts as a filter. This will not allow sand to go in inside this pipe. The pump is attached to the top. A single pump can be dismantled easily and used on several different boreholes, making irrigation much easier than traditional methods. I save money because I used to hire the diesel pump for 80 rupees per hour. Now I can irrigate whenever I like because I can operate this myself. Now I'm independent. During the dry months, land irrigated by a farmer who can walk on water stands out. There you see a green patch of land where the farmer who has a treadle pump, he's, he's taking an, uh, one more crop, whereas the field all around it are all lying fallow. So the farmers who do not have a treadle pump, uh, their fields are lying fallow. The pumps are sold through ordinary hardware shops that are certified by IDE India to provide a high level of service. Each shop has mechanics who are trained to install the treadle pumps. Over 510,000 pumps have been installed to date. About 200,000 of these pumps have replaced the diesel pump, saving emissions of 1.4 tonnes of carbon dioxide each, a saving assessed and certified under the Kyoto Protocol's clean development mechanism. This widespread acceptance wouldn't have been possible without promotion, and in a nation of cinema lovers, IDE India has hit upon the idea of using movies to get the message across. Back in Sabahaya, the sun is going down, and as farmers finish the day's work, the movie starts to roll. First an ad featuring the pumps, then the main feature.
The story of the treadle pump is far from over. This simple idea is already changing hundreds of thousands of lives. In part two, we find out how brick factories in Tanzania are now burning waste, not trees. And in Bangladesh, how finance for solar power systems is proving profitable for small businesses.